Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we're going to continue and finish off our discussion of matplotlib figure objects by showing you the overall figure parameters that we can edit, as well as how to save a figure. Let's get started. All right, in the same notebook as before, I'm just gonna scroll down and create a new figure. I will say figure is equal to fig plt dot figure. And let's go ahead and say axes one is equal to fig dot add axes. And we'll just have it be pretty much the same size as that figure canvas starting at 0, 0, 1 to 1 ratio. And then say axis 1.plot. We'll plot A and B. So there's two main things here that I want to show you that are really common figure level parameters to edit. And one is the figure size and the other is the DPI. You'll notice that it looks a little blurry here. And you can fix that by editing the... DPI or pretty much dots per inch. And so what we can do here is set it to something much higher than the default, something like 100. And eventually you'll see that it starts to get more and more clear. So if you set this super high, maybe like 200, you'll notice that now it's extremely clear. Okay, so that's how you can deal with that. It's just the DPI setting. Don't set it too high, otherwise it'll take up a lot of RAM to render something with such high resolution on your notebook. Then the second thing that's really common to edit is the figure size, which is essentially in inches the X and Y parameters here. So you can set this to something like 12 by eight and it will start stretching this out. Or if you want to make something, for instance, very tall, you can say one by eight, which is probably not super useful. Instead, you can probably find a good balance maybe for this particular plot if we want to stretch it out a bit, like 10 to three ratio here. And we can see that set up here. And again, it's gonna be 10 inches by three inches. Okay, so obviously now between the figure size and the DPI, you should be able to make any size image you want. It's gonna save it to the correct size, depending on what you choose for figure size. And for instance, if you're printing out a poster size image, you could just make it really large, but then also increase the DPI. So finally, let's talk about exporting a figure. What we can do is same as before, we're just gonna call fig, save fig, instead of plt, save fig. And then we just provide the name that we want to save it to. So let's go ahead and call this new figure.png. And then we're gonna walk through an issue that sometimes occurs when we're actually saving a figure. So you notice right now, I have this simple exponential and I'm gonna save it as a new figure.png. Go ahead and run that. And it's gonna output and render the visualization, but also save it. So then if I come back here to matplotlib, notice that a few seconds ago, it saved this new figure.png. I'll go ahead and open that. And notice it's actually super large because that's actually the size that I saved it to. So we may wanna come back and edit this. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna close this off, come back to my notebook and let's make this much smaller. Let's make it something like two inches by two inches, run that. And so it's a bit smaller now. I should be able to come back here, open up this new figure.png and then see it here. So immediately you're probably wondering, well, what happened to the X and Y axes? What's actually happening here is there's technically a bounding box around this set of axes and the figure canvas. And so what you need to do is just set a parameter called bounding box inches to tight. And then when you save it, you should now be able to see the X and Y axes. So let's close this out since it's not actually what we want. I want these figures of 0, 5, 10, and then 0, 2000, et cetera. So let's go ahead and say, under save fig, there's a second parameter here called bounding box or B box underscore inches. And then just pass in the string tight and it should then be able to automatically fit the bounding box correctly so that it includes the X and Y axes tick numbers. So now when we run that and we come back here and open up new figure.png, you can now see the image as expected. So between the parameters of the figure size and DPI, you should be able to experiment and save any size image in any resolution you want. And that's really all there is to it as far as the figure level parameters and saving an image and make sure to say bounding box underscore inches is equal to tight in order to make sure to save the X and Y axes. Okay, so that's it. Again, really simple to call here. We just create a figure, add a set of axes to it and plot on that set of axes. If you understand those three steps, you pretty much understand matplotlib figure objects. Thanks, and I'll see you at the next lecture where we talk about subplots.